Operation guides to make a multiple pieces mold for large product. Choose a perfect mold and manually polish and smooth it. Choose the right parting mold line. Normally, the mold can be made in two pieces and also can be multi pieces for complex products. Position the mold knife on the top of the mold when drawing and run around the face and eyes of the mold as possible as you can. Fix the mold on the wooden board and put the fixed mold on other flat brick, which should be perpendicular to the flat brick. Pile up the clay under the mold knife. The clay cannot be too hard and it cannot be any gaps between the mold and the clay. Smooth the surface of the clay with your most turned fingers. Remove the surplus clay. After fixing the clay, digging holes evenly on the clay to make latch. The latch can gather the silicone rubber mold much better and avoid the dislocation between two pieces of silicone rubber mold. The latch should be about 1 cm away from the mold. Brush detergent or soapy water evenly on the surface of the mold so that the mold could separate with the silicone rubber mold easily. Then dry it with an air gun. According to the structure and the size of product, Choose the type of silicon rubber. Guangong mold has a complicated structure, so we choose the silicon rubber with low viscosity and hardness like Hongye HY628 silicon rubber. Mix silicon rubber and curing agent evenly, then put them into the vacuum container to pump the air out of the silicon rubber.
brush the first layer of silicone rubber evenly on the mold. The first layer silicone rubber should be thinner than 1mm, which is to cover the mold and the clay thinly. Brush the second layer of silicone rubber till the first one is cured. The proportion of curing agent in second layer of silicone rubber should be higher than the first one. It should spend 5 to 8 minutes to cure. After brushing the second or the third layer of silicone rubber, cover the gauze when the silicone rubber stops flowing. The gauze can increase the tension and strength of the mold according to the size of the product. Add one more layer of gauze. Generally, it will not cover more than two layers of gauze. Make the red seam outer mold after the silicone rubber mold is solidified. It wouldn't need to paint Vaseline on the mold as silicone rubber will not stick with the red seam. Paint a layer of red seam evenly first and cover a layer of glass fiber. Then paint a layer of red seam. The glass fiber can increase the tension and strength of the outer mold. A big mold should be covered 3 to 5 layers.